Oh, yeah, yeah. Pulling my hair out until you figured out it was running in S mode. But I remember the first time I ran into Windows S mode. So if you guys are unfamiliar with Windows S mode, the cheapo $200 laptops, yes, you can get on Amazon and buy a $200 laptop. But what Windows did to get it down in the manageable service levels, instead of actually, you know, de-bloating their operating system, not making it atrocious, uh, they decided, no, we still need all this crap to run in the background. But wouldn't it be great if we limited everything to what you can install through the Microsoft Store and a very select uh, certain programs that can be installed? Yeah, this was Microsoft Logic. And that's Windows S mode in a nutshell. It's like this Microsoft Store only $200 laptop that just, they're so worthless. They're, they're like the netbooks of yesteryear. If you guys remember netbooks. Man, those were awful. But you can disable S mode and actually do a proper deep bloat of it. And you can actually make those $200, lap, $200 laptops not, uh, not terrible. I don't know how compatible they would be just doing like a Linux system on them. Just minimal. Eh, I bet it would be fine. If you could get like... The weird thing is HP and like Lenovo, they're they're kind of on to us on wiping out Windows sometimes. So what they do is make weird drivers for like the trackpad and keyboard. So when you go to install like Linux, for instance, on one of those cheapo laptops, a lot of times like your wireless won't work or your laptop or keyboard won't work or your touchpad won't work because they do some really funky, you know fractions of a penny component that's custom made <laughs> uh i don't know what's worse adam celron or the pentium of, of new anytime you see any of those words just run typically it's not a good thing uh 